Hello, music lovers and conversationalists. Welcome to the channel and welcome to tonight's episode of Friday First, which will be taking us to the great state of Louisiana, home to such blues legends as Dr. John, Slim Harpo, Buddy Guy, Lightning Slim, Clarence Gate Monk Brown, and tonight's featured artist who just went into the studio over the last year or so to record his first new album in over a decade. And I'm talking about the worldwide famous, legendary Tab Benoit. Tab Benoit is an artist who I've had the privilege of seeing on several occasions and will be closing up my 2024 concert calendar with the uh, newest tour and album called I Hear Thunder. And this is a uh, thunderous return to the studio if there ever was one for a band. And I couldn't be happier to bring this review for you tonight and uh, talk about the album itself and a little bit about Tab and of course my takeaway tracks. Here are the um, 10 tracks on here. Uh, Anders Osborne, one of the best singer, songwriters, and guitarist I've heard over the years and sought after a writing partner, teams up with Tab on this to bring you uh, 10 farm fresh tunes that fans have been waiting for as I said for over a decade Tab Benoit when you see him live he puts on one of the best shows if you are at a venue where you can get dinner you're going to get not only great music um, great food as in the case of the Bull Run that I go to see shows at a lot here in um, Massachusetts um, but also Tab has a uh, natural comedic side to him and um, one of the running jokes if you will with Tab is when he's in between songs tuning for the next song someone will usually yell out what key are you going to play in the next song Tab or um, Tab will say for those of you who are interested the next song will be in the key of E and it's an ongoing joke with his fans and it makes um, people stay engaged more with him as he's uh, in between songs. As I said, it's kind of a uh, almost a you have to be there to appreciate it kind of moment, but still, it's I think funny uh, just hearing him say that each time um, that I've seen him uh, over the years, and uh, it still is funny as the first time. But uh, Tab Benoit is one of the most genuine people you're going to meet in any genre of music, I think. He's um, really got a warm personality and takes, as I said, about many of the blues artists, but Tab in particular, he'll take the time to sign your merchandise and uh, take pictures and um, really listen to the uh, fans and um, really a um, stand-up guy. Uh, when he's not uh, spreading the good music of the blues, he is uh, lending his voice to another worthy cause, and that's the preservation of the wetlands down in Louisiana. And so much so that I believe it was in 2003 that he um, started a foundation called Voices of the Wetlands, and um, he's done a lot of good in... Um, preserving and protecting the wetlands environment down in Louisiana in the bayou and whatnot. So um, hats off to Tab for um, walking the walk and talking the talk, if you will. But um, tonight, as I said, is a return to the studio for Tab Benoit and uh, the long overdue release of the... Um, critically acclaimed album I Hear Thunder off of Whiskey Bayou Records which is owned by Tab and there is not a bad song on this album and I know I say that a lot on a lot of these episodes but this is really such a solid album I wouldn't be surprised if it won um, best album of the year for the Blues Music Awards in 2025 I think it's that damn good of an album. Um, as I said, there's 10 tracks on here, co-written and um, 
played on some of the songs with uh, Anders Osborne, who was another talented musician who a lot of and songwriter that a lot of uh, blues artists seek out when they're working on a new album and um, together they put a um, dynamic duo in singing songwriting and um, it's just an amazing um, feature uh, work of art here and I think this is an album that so many of you will enjoy and um, the songs that really stood out to me are uh, the title track, which is I Hear Thunder. That's the opening track as well. And this song is so uh, booming. It's, as I said, it's got a real high energy uh, vibe about it. You can tell that the band is enthusiastic about being back in the studio after more than a decade of um not being in the studio recording and being on the road a lot, uh, it, it was just time to go back into the studio and come up with some uh, farm fresh material, if you will. And that's exactly what they achieved here. Um, the title track is one that'll grab your attention and hold on uh, to your ears for the entire uh, 10 track journey that you'll be on in this um, Tab Benoit blues adventure. Um, it's a real great opening tune, and um, I think fans are going to love hearing that live. I could definitely see not only this being, as it is, the opening track to the album, but the opening song for the set list. I think that would uh, speak volumes in the um, way that a set list would be uh, carried out for this album. Uh, the next one is a bit of a history lesson, if you will. Of the bayou and not just of the bayou but of a legendary blues man from the bayou um clarence skatemouth brown and tab does a nice job illustrating what kind of a uh, musician uh and man that skatemouth was and um also paints a nice picture of um life in the bayou and um also um life in the bayou for Clarence Skatemouth Brown. This is one I think that fans are really going to enjoy and it pays tribute to not just Clarence Skatemouth Brown's life and legacy but to many other blues legends in the um, Louisiana blues community and also it's just a great um, swampy blues uh, number that will really get fans uh, sitting around paying close attention, or maybe even, I'd say, dancing to the tune, if you can um, dance and don't have two left feet or two right feet, whichever you want to take. Um, what acts as a great book end to this song is the last track on here, I believe. Yes, it's track number 10, and it's called Bayou Man. And Bayou Man, while it's similar to um, the Ghost of Gatemouth Brown. Um, it's more of an autobiographical song with uh, featuring uh, Tab Benoit, and um, it's one that I think complements the Ghost of Gatemouth Brown nicely. Um, the next song on the album, and I believe this would be my favorite one, is um, a song called Watching the Gators Roll. And for you, that for all of you who are fans of CCR, you will love this song because this has so many CCR qualities and characteristics in it. It's just a great tune that'll um, really um, get a good, clear picture of um, life in the bayou. And um, you'll feel that you're literally sitting with Tab and his friends just uh, hanging out and watching the Gators roll in. And, um, it's just one of the best songs on the album and definitely my top one or two favorite songs off of the album. I haven't decided if it's between that one and The Ghost of Gatemouth Brown, but um, both are sensational songs. Um, next is a song, and this is the last one that I um, 
wanted to share with you. It's called Overdue. And Overdue, the song could really go off in many directions in terms of what it's really about. But um, I know in this song it's about, um, I guess you could say it's about a, not being a good communicator during a um, previous relationship, if you will. But um, I think also the message in here is that this song is really dedicated to the fans and it's um, one that's for the fans and it's kind of like a, an apology in a way of saying, I'm sorry that it's been so long that I put out a new album, but here it is. It's, um, it's ready to go. Hopefully you'll enjoy it kind of moment. And, um, and also a way of saying we're back and ready to rock and roll and hopefully this is the start of a more regular trip to the recording studio, if you will, for Tab Benoit and company. But um, once again, the five songs that I have for you that I think are going to be fan favorites and hopefully favorites of yours as well um, are the title track, which is the opening one called I Hear Thunder. Uh, then we have The Ghost of Gatemouth Brown. Watching the Gators roll in is just a fun, um, rollicking kind of tune with a CCR vibe where Benoit just paints a really great picture of uh, Bayou life, if you will. Um, Bayou Man, which, as I said, really does a nice job of um, making a bookend with this song, uh, The Ghost of Gate Mouth Brown, kind of autobiographical with one being um, Bayou Man and the history lesson and um, I guess geographical lesson, if you will, of um, or cultural lesson of um, the ghost of Gatemouth Brown, where you get the um, story of Clarence Gatemouth Brown and um, Louisiana life and culture and um, Overdue, which is the one about um, being uh, re Regretful on, I guess, failed relationships and not being a good communicator. Um, but also, I think it's one that um, is for the fans saying, hey, we're back with a new album. It's been a while and we're ready to rock and roll and get hopefully get back into the studio on a regular basis. But um, again, this is the new album and it is called... I hear thunder. I think this is a killer album's uh, color with the black and the blue and the uh, storm clouds on the front with tab right there in the uh, center. And on the back, you got a murky picture of the swampy bayou in the background. Now, this, as I said, this is not his debut album, but this is his, it kind of feels like one. And it's his first album in over 12 years. Um, but real quick before I go, the next um, time I do a Tab video, it will be for his actual debut album. And I don't think I've done this one yet, but this one is called Nice and Warm. Next up I have um, Whiskey Store. This is with uh, uh, Jimmy Thackeray. And I'll quickly show you the track listings. Then we have um, Tab Benoit, the um, Fever for the Bayou. And I'll show you the track listings on that. Sorry for any glare, I don't have any uh, tab Benoit and vinyl, but CDs are the next best thing, right? <laughs> and, um, and then we have um, the best of the Bayou Blues from Tab. And um, the uh, track listing there, I apologize for the font on that. Sorry about that. That was just a CD case in the glass. Um, 
And last but not least, this is uh, Medicine, which was one of his biggest selling albums. Uh, definite fan favorite. And um, again, the track listing's on there. So once again, tonight's featured artist is Tab Benoit, one of the great Louisiana bluesmen of our time. And his uh, brand new album, which came out in August of this year, um, called I Hear a Thunder. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you will pick up a copy of I Hear a Thunder when you're looking for something new to listen to. You will not be disappointed, and check him out if he comes to your town. Um, again, a fantastic show, one you will not want to miss, and one you will be glad you saw. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.